the end of this module, the learner will be able to describe the origin of ventricular dysrhythmias, identify abnormal conduction originating from the ventricular muscles, and describe little ventricular arrhythmias. In normal circumstances, heart conduction starts at the SA node that creates a P wave. As the conduction goes down to the ventricular muscles, it creates a QRS duration less than 0.10 seconds. If the heart conduction starts in the ventricles, it causes a significant conduction disturbance in the QRS complex. Ventricular intrinsic rate is between 20 to 40 per minute. Let us start with the ventricular rhythm. Feature, a predictable pattern. Rate, between 20 to 40 bits per minute. With missing P wave. QRS duration is more than 0 0.10 seconds. Agnol feature a predictable rhythm. Rate less than 20 bits per minute. Missing P wave. QRS duration is more than 0 0.10 seconds. In accelerated EG ventricular, rhythm is regular. Rate between 40 to 100 bits per minute. Missing P wave. QRS duration is more than 0 0.10 seconds. Feature of a monomorphic ventricular tachycardia is a regular pattern and shape with no discernible P wave. Rate more than 100 bits per minute. Wide QRS complex with identical shape. Monomorphic ventricular tachycardia is coming from one specific foci of the ventricular muscles. Polymorphic ventricular tachycardia has an irregular pattern and shape with no discernible P wave. Rate more than 100 bits per minute. QRS duration is more than 0 0.10 seconds. Polymorphic ventricular tachycardia is coming from more than one foci in, of the ventricular muscles. The shifting of foci causes the regular pattern in the EKG paper. For questions and comments, visit us at criticalcarewizard.com.